And yeah, shouts to everyone who uh, came to the venue as well. Shouts yes. to all the fans from Toronto who came to support EMG. He came to support the event. So proud of you guys for coming through. And everyone who's watching at home, hope you guys enjoy the stream. We're going to get right into the gameplay here. Supergirl Kels versus Singela oh. here on PS2. Another a, a DLC character, though. They weren't yeah. too far off. Got Kinda some ages. <laughs> Okay, so Sandella getting started very promptly with the 42% as Mithras usually do, 54 and counting. Barely with the Abin, gonna get punished? No, gets the shield out just in time. Certainly uh, Mithra, a character that can contest with Sonic in their own right. Mm -hmm. That Nair, really, really good with dealing at Sonic in midair. And then, of course, has the speed, which I think is the most crucial part about it. Like, sure, you're going to have the Pyro come out to finish off a stock here and there. I've seen a lot of players, like, almost not change the Pyro because they want to have that higher speed even into the later portions of a stock. Yeah, even if the, your opponent's a higher percent, sometimes it's not hard to even get that hit going. You can't even yes. get that hit started. Yep. A lot of times your moves don't even come out with his Pyro because Sonic's just so damn fast. So it's a little bit difficult. But we're going to see him switch out to the Pyra in this situation. Has Supergirl Kels near the ledge here. And right back to Mithra. Yeah, this is... Maybe they're just kind of feeling it out. Like, okay, if I go Pyra, yeah. like, how is she going to react? What is she going to do? Is she going to start to play a little safer? And honestly, I think it's also because when you have Sonic in the corner, you want Pyra out, but then the second Sonic is back, all right, maybe I want to have the Mithra. Yeah, I think you're exactly right with that, actually. I think it's... it's We've only really seen the Pyro when Supergirl Cuss is in the corner, and so yeah. I think that's probably part of the game plan right yeah. there. Trying to go for the raw up B there. Does not get punished, though. A lot of these times, SDK is kind of whipping these punches, Ooh. but the spin dash into the forward air. Finally has him that first stock. That's one of the scariest things about Sonic. Like, sure, like, he has such a, like, a destructive neutral, but the strings and, like, kill confirms that Sonic has can just train, like, completely turn the table on you. Because honestly, Congel has been playing really well in this yeah. so far and has been doing really solid in neutral, so has to avoid those explosive options that Sonic is known for. Yeah, that's something you always have to worry about in the back of your mind is the fact that at any point in time you make a slight mistake, yes. or not even a mistake, you just, you know, you just outright lose neutral, you could just die. Yep. Still, keeping it very close. Trying to keep Sonic on these platforms, which is easier said than done for sure. But I do want to say, you know, co coming for first round pools, Sindel's actually playing surprisingly well versus SGK. I'm going to give it to him. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh that and is I, as I commented, it's cursing. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, no check. But yeah, I, honestly, if someone told me like this was a later bracket matchup, I would believe it. Yeah, yeah. entirely. Okay, trying to go for the FTL, going to go for the forward air instead. Has SGK at the ledge. Nice. Nice that you went for the forward air to get out of there. Oh, and chasing. <laughs> yeah, getting a little greedy. It's understandable, though. I guess, especially in Sonic, you don't want to miss kill opportunities at all. Because mm -hmm. they're going to get that residual damage on you the second you miss it. Yeah, so Joe playing right. safe right here. Okay, he's going to go for the raw B and it is not kill yet. Great option, though. I like that. I mean, one more solid hit here from Zangela will tie things up. And I think they know that, too. Like, they're playing really safe right now. That was a big committal which I don't think was super necessary, and SGK rightfully calling them out here. I don't think that would have killed either, so it could have been a yeah, yeah. who even knows, but going to switch to the Mythra, trying to recover, no. and as... <sighs> unfortunate. That spring was just perfectly that, placed. Yeah, that spring was... Uh, had them knocking on Death's Door twice, which is, you know, again, something you might not keep in the back of your head, like you're worried about so many other things from Sonic and not, like, getting... Clipped by a clipped, spring, yeah. yeah, like clipped by the, the spring. That that <laughs> second stock was really unfortunate too, because that was kind of early. But mm -hmm. that last position, I mean, you're so far out, and you know, Pyramithra, obviously, was a bit of a meme. Like, oh, the recovery is not that good. The recovery is certainly like not as bad as people would say it is, but it can be a bit telegraphed, and you can certainly deal with it. Especially Sonic, who has no problem going off stage and contesting. So if you already know how to deal with it, like you can get caught out like that way far out in the blast zone and die early. That's very, very true. That's totally correct in what you're saying. So I'm, I, I, honestly, I'm hoping Sindel has a little bit of a better game here. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunate way to lose that, that last game, but it is what it is. It's gonna kind of move past it. And hopefully, a lot of the times when you lose versus a, you know, a, at least a higher seeded player or a well-known player, uh, it's, it's hard for it to you know, keep stable and not have yep. that affect your mental game. So I, I want to hope that you know Sigella has some resilience in that and just believes in themselves a little bit more to be able to continue this set and force a game three situation. Yeah, I mean, if I was Sigella, I'd be thinking like, hey, I didn't do that bad that previous game. Yeah. Like that was winnable. I can't get in my own head, and if totally. I just keep playing my game, like this is absolutely within the realm of possibility. Okay, down throw, gonna go for the four. Yep, clean percent. 
Yeah, trying to rely on this I'll be quite a lot. It's, it's worked in the past, but I don't know if it's going to be something that's a reliable option. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a call out. <laughs> Got the sniper though, yeah. Dude, some of these shots are hitting. And it's honestly like, it's like you'd think it's a little more punishable than it actually is, especially Mithra's upbeat. Yeah. But she's uh, acting immediately out of it. So Sonic, of course, can get there in time, but you space it well, it's 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 pretty usable. Mithra's having this great frame meta in general, just all the time, so. Mm -hmm. I really like that Cinderella actually went for the side view on Pyra and then tried to go for a footstool in case uh, SGK went for a jump. Yep. Once again, as the Pyro with Sonic in the corner, backs up, and then I'm expecting a change back over to Mithra, but it looks like they're trying to land that kill shot. There it is, right there. <laughs> kill yep. shot not coming, so Mithra comes back in. Oh, well, recovering high is dangerous, but is able to pass ball, but gets the jump called out with the back here. SDK making that great read to finalize that first off. Okay, she got the ledge yet again. SGK, good job. I mean, was going a lot of uh, jumps out of the corner there, and now just getting for regular get up. Able to shield out of that, so it's been really well done there. Oh, oh and no. the SD super unfortunate stuff, but SUK, homie, homie at the stock, end of the day, always stock. gonna homie stock. Love That's that rough me. though. That's a mental boomer right there. Now yeah. you got a huge, huge hill to climb up. Sonic, a character that I mean, when you're down an entire stock, one of the hardest characters in the game to make it up. Yeah, I completely agree. Okay, gonna get the skin dash into the upper end of the nair. Just gonna extend that a little bit further and just get some great percent. 82 so far. Oh, just the raw spin dash right there. Now all of a sudden, oh, <laughs> oh that would have killed. Case. That would have killed. <laughs> See, I like that. SGK always has, has that in her pocket. Mm -hmm. You know, she's always just going to go for that crazy option out of nowhere that you never expect. Yep. And oh. the Duffy to the head top. Just right there, going to finalize that stock and finalize that game with a 2-0. That big forward, uh, forward smash. Yep. Him with the big hands. SGK takes a 2-0. Sangella, though, I mean... In their own right, I think played really well. Yeah. But when you're up against a character or a player at SGK's level, a lot yeah. of the time it's not just about like playing at your best, but making the least mistakes as possible. I a agree. player who has the experience of SGK at the level that they played at, they're not making as many mistakes as you would uh, a player that's you know lower echelon, right? So 